Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to this evening's stream. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever else it might be for you. I hope that your day has been, is going, or will go very well indeed. Hello? Hello? Hello, Rach? Hello? <laughs> Give me the question mark. You're scaring me. You're making me think that my mic isn't on. Is this thing on? I think it's on. I'm just messing with you. I just wasn't saying anything. <laughs> I have got a button on the mic as well that does let me mute it, so I can. But I can also just have the mic on and then I can. Anyway. <laughs> let's, uh, let's stop worrying about that. Good evening to you all. Bonsoir. How is everybody? How are you all? I hope today's been wonderful for you, or at least as good as it can be. <laughs> today's felt like a really long day. Has anyone else felt like it's a long day? It's felt like quite a long day today. Today's been okay. Okay. Yeah. Today's been okay. Can't complain. How's your day been? A new, cooked a new recipe. Chicken and tarragon hot pot. That does sound very nice. That does sound nice. How am I? I am doing well. I am fine. I am good. Today has been lovely. I went out. I did the food shop and cooked up a chilli. And if I do say so myself, the chilli was... Mwah. Just use like the packet stuff, right? You just dip all... You just pour all of the powder in and like throw it in with the beef mince and whatever. I added some shallots, just a little bit of onion, and some chili flakes and some coriander leaf as well. So it's um it was very, very delicious. And there is plenty left over for his lordship when he gets in from work as well, which is exactly the way that it should be. It does sound delicious. If only there was a Discord I could send a recipe to. There's loads of Discord you can send a recipe to, there's just not one for me. Um, yeah, I need to do that. Okay, tomorrow I am gonna set one up. I'm go I am going to do it tomorrow. It's gonna be really bare bones because I have no idea how to make the fancy discords that everyone has, so it's literally just going to be like there's going to be a text chat and a voice chat and that's it, and then everyone can say in the text chat what other things they want and then I'll try and... It's, it's all Greek to me, you know? I don't know why I don't know why all this technology keeps on advancing, it just leaves old duffers like me behind in the dust I, I don't know how all this goes and then you want stuff, you want t-shirts with Scyther on it. I mean, where does it end? You guys are so demanding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I, I would much rather have a demanding fan base that knows what the fan base is. That is that okay to um, is it okay to say that? I, I'd rather have people watching me who are demanding and who know what they want, because. I have no idea what I want, so I rely on the guidance of others. Incidentally, just whilst I'm taking care of this, Nay, how have you found your blue light glasses? Have you found that they've helped out in any way? Have they improved things at all, or anything gotten better? Hopefully they haven't made it worse. The one complaint I have about mine is there's no like nose support, so the bridge of my nose always goes really red and can get a bit sore. But other than that, they're pretty good. Old duffers with two screens. I have two screens, indeed, yes. I have a fancy RGB keyboard. <laughs> and a brand spanking new microphone also. And an electric drum kit. Other than that, I am a total duffer. 
All I know of Discord is the Netrock run. Anything else will seem very fancy. Okay. Well, we can... I, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I have nothing else to do other than stuff on one more block, so I can do that tomorrow. Not had a work headache since. Perfect. Agree with no support. Also, I've wear them all day. The backs of the ears hurt a little bit. Yes. Uh, I get the same thing with uh, masks when I have to go out in public. They just pull on the back of the ears too much. Anyways... We ain't here for any of this. We are here to see the bat and the lizard do their stuff. So, let's get the game up. Give me some game footage, please. There we are. I cheat and put the mask straps around a bun or pony Yeah, I haven't got hair long enough for that. I've literally got my considerable lug holes right here that I, uh, this is all I can use. All I can use, unfortunately. Okay, so. Right, I remember. This is where we got to last time. And I can't remember. Like, we, we couldn't progress from here. That was... That was the big problem we had. We couldn't progress from this point onwards. And I can't, for the life of me, work out why that might be. We haven't got, like, a super jump yet. I don't think. Oh, we do have a super jump, yes. But we... But we can't use it for anything. So... The only thing I can think of that we need to do is maybe we have got to go back to level 2 and grow and make the level bigger. Because everything else seems to be just out of our reach. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Brittany, hello, good evening, good afternoon to you. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh my god, the lizard is so cute. Both of them are. Look at them, they are really adorable. Uh, I've been... I think the lizards are male and the bat is female. Based on their voices. Oh, there we go, nice big close-up. Give them a high five. Yeah. Or do a dance, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they are adorable, especially when they get angry. Come at me! And then when they do stuff wrong... Sometimes they get sad. But it's okay. Because they are the best of friends. <laughs> they are really adorable. He chirps with his sonar. He just looks so energetic and happy. Or oh, she. The bat just looks so energetic and ready for action. The lizard's relatively nonplussed. It's those great big eyes. Both of them have huge eyes. That's what's doing it. How are you today, Brittany? Is everything going well for you? How's the, uh, how's the day been for you so far? So, even though I don't really want to, we're going to return to level 2 and grow the level to see if it teaches us anything new. Because I can't work out how to progress through that other section right now. So we may as well see what level 2 has in store for us. Oh, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying. He can't do it, though. Five. Okay. Expand the Glitter Glaze Glacier. Open it up. Make it a bigger book. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Is the game audio okay? This game always feels like it's really loud. Or if the game... If the game audio is loud, is my voice suitably compensating for it? That's what I want to know. It's good? Perfect. Do you play horror games? He breaks them. <laughs> that makes it sound like I do really well at horror games. Is a touch loud, but not majorly. I might, I might just try and squidge it down a little bit. 
There we go. Just a, just a fraction. So, I do... I have played horror games. I have played them. We've played two on the channel so far. We have played Layers of Fear, and we have played a game called Silver Chains. Oh, yeah, we spent five pages on a key. Seems so. So, the... Uh, Layers of Fear was really was a really good game actually. That was a great first horror game, in my opinion, to play. Uh, Silver Chains was a very similar sort of game, but it was very rough around the edges. It was an it was an indie game from a small uh, was it Russian developer I think, and. It, it had its merits, don't get me wrong, but there was some definite polish that the game was lacking. Uh, especially towards the end. This is what Rach is referring to. Uh, the final encounter of that game was very buggy and very unclear, and it caused us quite a bit of stress on the stream. But it was it was good fun. It was good fun. This is... Sorry, it's the, the game is very loud in my ears. So I've got I've got to do a little bit more audio tweaking, unfortunately. I do apologise. Try and bring that down a bit. To compensate, I'll try and bring it up a bit on the stream, so hopefully you guys don't miss out too much on that. But it's just really loud in my ears, so I've got to take that down. Uh, oh, Brittany's recommending Bendy and the Ink Machine. So, Bendy and the Ink Machine. I've never played Bendy and the Ink Machine. You say it's a really old style one, the old cartoon style. I know exactly the kind of style you mean. It's the sort of, it's the 1920s animation style of cartoon, similar to the look of Cuphead and all the old style cartoons. One of the main reasons I've not gone near Bendy and the Ink Machine is because that style of artwork really creeps me out. I I already don't like that, and I don't want to subject myself to a horror game based around that kind of artwork. <laughs> but, having said that, never say never. Sounds perfect. <laughs> exactly, I, I get that it sounds perfect. Should do it. It's a short game too? Oh, that's fine, as long as my suffering will only be temporary and not very long lasting. That's fine. Having said that, Layers of Fear and Silver Chains were supposed to be short games and they they we we pulled those ones out. It was my first time playing Layers of Fear. I watched another streamer play it for the first time. He practically beat the game in 3 hours whereas it took us like 8. So <laughs> the game may be short, but my playing it might be might make it far too long. Oh no, we ran out of honey! Oh, can we make it? We made it. We're good. Perfect to put in the 12 hour stream. No, no, the 12 hour stream is a community one. We're not going to be wasting time with horror games. And, and I mean, you, you don't really want to see me play another horror game, do you? You guys must be getting fed up of horror games by now. Absolutely fed up of them. Fed up of horror games. Probably fed up of collector thongs. <laughs> Come on, ukulele! You can do it. The final ramp. Come on, come on. Oh, just out of time. The whole game could be done in six hours. Okay, so that's it should take us about nine, ten, maybe. <laughs> I do. Unless the community wants horror games, give the people what they want. <sighs> what do the people want? Is that what they want? Alright, what's the key? What are you saying? What's the story? What's the store key? Turn the key in the lock. Let's get this locked down. It's a great game, I vote yes. Don't! Oh! Look, do you know what? It's fine. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind horror games as long as they are like good games. If that makes sense. The Isometric Palace. 
oh, we can't change the camera angle. It's in an isometric view because it's the isometric palace. Aha! Perfect. Um, I think you know what the people want. I do know what the people want. They want to see me scream. Um, and like, as long as a horror game is a good game, so as long as the game itself has been well designed, I want to explore the room we were in first before we leave. As long as the game is well designed and it, it, it works and it does its job. I don't mind putting up with the fear too much because the game itself is good fun in hindsight. Do you know what I mean? That's that's kind of what I would look for. And both of the games we've both of the horror games we've played have done that to a degree. Uh, Morgan's arrived. Good evening, Morgan. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How was your stream as well? Hope everything went well. Did you finish that dang house? <laughs> no chance. Don't even try bringing that back. Played it yesterday. The artwork is wonderful. And it does work. Then we, we could give it a go. If, if people want to see yet more scary games, we'll give it a go. What we're... um. I don't want to. I don't want to like do do them regularly, though. You know, I, I like they they're really good games to play, and they do tend to get quite a lot of viewers. But they're not really my wheelhouse, so I want to kind of keep them as sort of special treats and occasions, you know. But we will see. And as much as I say the artwork for Bendy and the Ink Machine and Cuphead and all that creeps me out, I can also appreciate that it is incredibly beautiful artwork and it looks brilliant. And I can appreciate the artwork for that, at very least, even if it does make me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Morgan, I finished the first wall. You can see it from today's stream how it looks. Oh, okay, also, I'll... um. Try and catch a little bit of the VOD for that. Um, glad you finished the first wall after all that. <laughs> Space them out. Exactly. I don't want to kind of. I don't want to do. I don't want to just like burn, burn through them all immediately, right? Because otherwise, they're just not that much of a special occasion, and that's that's what they feel like they are to me. Um, I've had requests for Outlast as well, by the way. <laughs> uh, give me the cannonball. Okay, we have got the cannonball. Awesome. Yeah, I've had requests for Outlast as well. At some point in the future, so we will... We'll have to add that one to the list. Alongside Bendy. I think the... Outlast is a much longer game. So we'll need to set that one aside for a really rainy day. Took me almost three hours to get it to work, to work and look good. That's that's what building is. You have to, you have to spend a not necessarily ages, but you do have to give it your full attention. I just don't think Outlast is that good of a game. Well, watch it for me, not for the game. <laughs> Rach is peachy today. She was gravy yesterday, and now she's peachy. <laughs> Alright, give me the grenades. Oop. Good one, yep. Okay, come on. We can do better than that. We have to do better than that. I'm diverse. Would you ever have peaches and gravy? That sounds like a horrifying dish, if ever I've heard one. Do you reckon we can go through these windows? Oh! Okay, I didn't realise that the level, the uh, the liquid level was rising and falling now. We are slowly running out of health. And this section is going on for a while. I don't want to have to redo it all. That would be sad. Put that sentence back in your mouth. <laughs> Peaches and gravy, baby. And then, oh, it, are you coming with us? You're coming with us. All right, let's go. So the 
<laughs> Gordon Ramsay will explode. Oh my god, what is this? Oh. You can imagine it, can't you? You can imagine his reaction. Smackdown! Beautiful. That will lead somewhere. And that will lead somewhere. Feeling a little lost in this section of the level. But hopefully we'll find our way back. It's a nice little idea. This has kind of turned into a Crash Bandicoot level almost. Right there. Like the sushi pizza. Yeah. Oh, you remember the strawberry and chocolate pizza? Like the strawberry pizza he had as well? Like someone, someone did that once. Oh, that leads us back to the top. Fantastic. Well, now I've got to see what was through the other gate. Oh, I missed it. 75k. We are nearly there. Hello. Toxic goo supplied by Tim L Lug Lugberg, Robin's Waste Management. Your trash is our treasure. Great. Thanks for that. But yeah, that strawberry chocolate pizza was weird. And I, I remember him getting pretty upset with the sushi pizza as well. Where are we now? Okay, I've got cannonballs. Oh, that's slippery. Is this death as well? It's not death. We can dive in it, but the camera doesn't follow us. So I'm going to just presume that we don't really need to do anything down here. What's this over here? Hello. Never be cold again with Adam Ferguson heating. I hope these aren't real companies. I don't want to be like just giving out free free advertising here. Okay, what do you do? Okay, you turn the fan on, and we got a limited time. We need to get through the hoops. Uh, no, I need I needed water. Okay, this is going wrong. Okay, I didn't need that. Give me fire. Okay, we melted an ice block or something through the middle. Now where? Wasting time. I'm hoping another one in the middle. Okay, is there one over here now? Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to jump over it. We already, we'd already gotten rid of it. We go through the bit in the middle. Now it's over here again. Oh, we can cheese this. Cheesed it. Nice. Now back to the middle. Oh gosh, another one? Okay, I don't think we can cheese this one though. Melt the ice. Let me through. This is a long thing to repeat if we get it wrong. Okay, well, that didn't go well. Hmm... Okay, well we know that the first one is the cannonball, so let's get that one locked and loaded. And then let's go. So, into there first of all, into the middle. Give me some fire. Got to try not to fall in the water, let alone go underneath the ice platforms. Let me out! Thank you. Come back to the middle. We don't need the water. There we go. There's more than one way to skin a cat. We're done. Through there. Okay, this one's gone wrong. It's gone very wrong. How many times have we got to do this? Please, eat a cannonball. Ordinarily, I wouldn't recommend such an activity, but in this case, I'll make the exception. And then I think it's over to here. Yes, it is. We got that. Now you want to send me into the water. We're just going to go around it again. Into the middle. Oh, we were like one away the first time. Oof. Okay, well that's good then. At least, at least we figured that one out. Lead me on. Hype! Thank you. Now where are we? Oh! 
And after all that, we can't even do anything! Can I go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside? No. That hurts me deeply. I can feel my soul aching as a result of that. I went through all of that rigmarole to find another obstacle that we don't know how to deal with yet. Okay, well... I don't even know. I don't even know. Let me out of here. Let's move onwards. So, we had torrential rain last night. You may have noticed it. And if you've been here for a while, you may also know that I have a leaky roof which was fixed. There's another bit of the roof that wasn't fixed. And so, I had another leak last night. It's like, a, it's like my roof has been built out of cheese graters. There's just... There just seems to be holes. Excuse me, sir. That was rather rude. I need these butterflies. No, don't go through there! Because then the butterflies will despawn! Uh-oh, indeed. That and it was thunderously loud as well. I went to bed at like... 11.30 last night. I finally made it to sleep at around about 2.30. I was just laying in bed, listening to the rain because it was super loud. Listening to the drips in my bedroom. Because they were also rather loud. Hey, oh, Chuck. Hello, Sean. How are you? Oh. Oh, so close. But not close enough. How are you this evening, my friends? Hope you're doing alright. Great! This is going to be one of those isometric depth perception puzzles. Okay, come on then. Okay, we figured that part out. I... I feel like there needs to be a bit of a clearer indication as to where the transitions are between areas. Make your home accessible with Patrick, a Patrick Early stairs and lifts. No bridge is too far. Alright, you sing at the statue, and that lowers the drawbridge. No, it doesn't. It does this. Uh, what are you wanting from me here? I don't really know what that was asking of me, to be honest. Oh, yes I do. There was the... There's the uh, puffballs right there. Gotcha. Sing at the statue. Shoot puffballs at the targets. Gotcha. What's my look button? What's my look button? What's the look button? Okay, I can't look. So we just gotta spam puffballs. And then get some more. <laughs> Just button mashing. This must be what it's like to play Smash Brothers. Damn it. This must actually be what it's like to play Smash Brothers. Okay, had a pretty calm day. That was all I saw of that, then it scrolled out of the way. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it was a calm day anyway. Clemmy's here. Good evening to you, Clemmy. How are you this evening? Hope everything is going all right for you. Alright, let's just try and do this systematically by spamming snowballs in whatever direction we feel like. Okay, we've run out. 20 seconds left. We can do two in 20 seconds. Okay, maybe we can't. You're kidding me, that's... Oh, that was close, but we did it! We did it! Ah. Woo! We're through. Oh, it's the dark section. We got the glowstone now. Give me some of that. Show me the way to Amarillo. 
where every night I shall be hugging my pillow. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, explorers. I see. Ah, uh, this game knows. Get some si get some scythers in chat right there. I see you've done well to get this far. <laughs> We've had enough puns for one game, thanks. No, we have not. No, we have not. Excuse me. We have not had enough. Absolutely not. I'm good, doing some video editing and snacking on Pringles. This is important. What flavour Pringles? Brittany wants Pringles. I want Pringles. Jay, buy Pringles on your way home. <coughs> Oof, ouch. Sean, you can't be throwing that kind of stuff around in a public forum. <laughs> Original. You know, original is not bad. Oh, if I do say so, ice self. <laughs> okay, we've got to pass a mega quiz. Salt and vinegar are incredible. Well, probably the best flavour, I think. And then the barbecue in second. Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to put the sour cream and onion in second and then the barbecue in third. <laughs> Look at that grumpy ratata. <laughs> Try dill pickle, uh, the Pringle flavour. No, I, I don't know if that's one we can get here. Has that has any any UK UK friends seen dill pickle flavour Pringles? I feel actually I feel like I may have seen that tube, but I've not been I've not been particularly keen on going and getting them. Because pickle is not my top, not one of my best flavors. So if we can get them, I'd want to buy like one of those pots that you get on airplanes, like one of the small ones, so I haven't wasted too much money if I don't like them. Usually don't imprint since they're not actually made of potato. Uh, is are they not? Are they not? Oh, is it like a workaround? It's like potato flour or something like that. Ray Chase salt and vinegar crisps. They sound amazing. Dill pickle Doritos were a thing. We had pizza flavoured Doritos over here for a while. Does anyone remember those? I remember the advertising campaign for them. What is going on? We're on some kind of weird quiz show. How many treasure chests are in this room? Um... Like, two? Unlucky? Oh, we got it wrong. Okay, so do we need, we need to do some, we need to do some research about the room we're in, I think. We need to do that. Probably gonna get banned, but I don't actually care for Pringles. It's okay, we don't discriminate here. If you don't like Pringles, that's fair enough. You can not like Pringles. It's okay. So, four treasure chests. Keep a note of this. Four treasure chests. Four barrels. Uh, I'm seeing like two... Two crates. Three crates, I think. And then about two or three skulls. Okay, let's go for round two. Pizza Doritos wasn't a thing. Ah. Don't like bacon. Oh, now that, that is unforgivable. <laughs> no. Of course not. Uh, it's potato, but it's more dehydrated, made into a powder with a bunch of things in it. Ah, yes, of course. It's a, it's a workaround. It's a cheap potato substitute, which says a lot about your manufacturing methods when potatoes are already dirt cheap. Like, you're having to use cheap potato substitute. Rice flour, wheat starch, corn flour, emulsifier, matadextrin, and colour. I think we might, uh... Oh! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it literally was a guess. <laughs> Maybe we should do a stream where I read the ingredients of foods. I love bacon but don't like bacon flavoured things. That's because it's bacon flavoured things, it's not the same as bacon. Straight up, so... 
bacon, there's something special about it. Have a have a food texture disorder. Oh, okay. Can't eat 95% of food. Oh, That's unfortunate. There's colour in potato chips? Yeah, like, how else do you think they get that beige potato colour on potato chips? With artificial colouring, of course. Okay, question two. Hit me up, Pagey. How many treasure chests are in this room? We know at this time there's four. Send me through. Round three. Let's do this. What's directly under my KG? Okay. I think it's a... I think it's a treasure chest. Did we get it? Snooker? Whaley? <laughs> you both came here as losers. Stop this! But you're leaving us winners! We did it. We have won the Mega Quiz. We are untouchable. Normal eco potato chips here in Sweden don't have any colouring. I don't think ours do. I think, like, actual potato chips, like what we would have here, we, they don't. But manufactured ones like Pringles probably have something thrown in. So just ones where they literally chop up a potato, throw it in the fryer, and make potato chips. They're probably fine. But it's the manufactured ones, such as Pringles, that I think have a, a little bit more questionability about them. I think you get a fourth after I, <laughs> after I accidentally touched you out. Oh yeah, there was that. How long did you time it out for again? It was like 20 minutes. <laughs> Something. <laughs> more than I would ever want. A loyal viewer of the stream to be timed out for. Alright, we're good. Let's get out of this section. Whew. We're doing well. Now, at some point in the street... Do we have anything over here? We do. Well, we're going over here then. At... Ah, depth perception. My old enemy. Okay, redo. Where's the shadow? There we are, we're in. Landed. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Mum never let it happen was because of this. But I bought this one by myself for my own money. Yeah, exactly. It's your own money. You've got it. Fair and square. Real potato chips. Dorito, Doritos and salsa is incredible. It's such a... It's just such a winning combination. Uh, we could probably do a big old spring jump up to it. We can't do a big old spring jump up to there. Uh, this was where we first entered the room. So did we do stuff on the left? I think we did everything on the left. And then up ahead was where we just came from with the treasure chest party quest, right? Yep, okay, and we have done in there. Super. It was way longer than that. It's like 30 minutes. Uh-oh. Brittany, I am now eating Lay's potato chips. I blame all of you. <laughs> Lay's are nice, though. Lay's are like the... Uh, Lay's are like the, the holiday potato chips. Oh! Okay. Good to know. Like, you know, there are certain brands that you have on holiday... Lays is one of them. For us, anyway, at least. I really like Owl's chips. Owl's chips? Does Owl know you take his chips? If so, is he okay with that? Look at all those play coins! Ooh. There's a hidden vault in the icy metric temple. Ow! Oh, where are we now? This looks like a skateboarding rink. I'm ready for more skateboard... That's not what they call it. It's not a skateboarding rink, is it? It's a skate park. 
It's almost as if I didn't have an alternative teenage upbringing. <laughs> what do you got for me? Building work by Eric Weakwall Partners. We put the weak in weak walls. Yeah, I bet. Can't do anything with that. Very disappointed that you all ignored that. I thought it was good. I, did I miss some... What did I miss? Company called Owl. Oh, okay. What did I miss? I saw the Scyther emote, but I, I didn't know what it was... Um, I don't know. Didn't see what it was in relation to. Sorry. How's it going, fellow youths? Okay, what do you got for me? We're gonna we're gonna put our Fred Durst on. Hua! Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. Bye. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Come on. Now I know you'll be loving this game right here. L I M P ukuleles right here. People in the house throw your tongues in the air. Cause if you don't care, then we don't care. One, two, three, eating butterflies till we're sick. <laughs> I can't do any anymore. Sorry, I've run out. How many laps of this does uh do we need to do? Because I've only got twenty seconds in which to do them. Oh no, oh no, come on. Three laps. Easy peasy. I said, whoo, whoo, whoo. I see. Now it makes sense. Aha! Let me in. Oh, grenades. I think I know what I need to do with these. I need to throw them at the wall. Let me through. What's through this section? <laughs> this uh, this Pokemon channel is incredible. They have a Pokemon emote for everything. They've even got a Pokemon emote for... I see what you did there. Geodude, Geonude, what you were saying. Node? I mean, I... You know what it is. You know what we're getting at. Hmm. I need some water. There's some water. Oh, there's also one of those guys. We need to sonar the turret to get it to... To get it to come down to our level. Am I not sonaring it? Come on. Alright, well screw that guy then. We don't need any of that. So you put the fire out first of all. You grab yourself some fire, and then you melt the ice, but you don't set fire to the sticks again. That makes sense. What does this want now? That opens the way. We know the way. It's that way. Up we go. Ah, uh, Leo. So when I was shopping earlier, I was in the supermarket, I needed to buy all the stuff for dinner tonight. And indeed for the... Oh, that's on fire. And indeed for the next few days. And as I said, we had a very delicious chilli con carne. Or I had a delicious chilli con carne. Jay's not home yet to have his. So I had... That'll do. That'll do. Nice. Thank you. Had a very delicious chilli con carne. And part of the recipe for that requires a tin of tomatoes. So I picked up a tin of tomatoes. Took it to the checkout. No barcode to scan it by. Decor by Edward Solstice Painters. Is that supposed to be scissor hands? Possibly. We'll plaster your palace, ladies. No, stop. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I can't believe! I can't believe I did that. <laughs> That was disappointing. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I got to the self-scan checkout to scan my food, including the tin of tinned tomatoes. There was no barcode on it. So I said to the like the checkout attendant, there's no barcode on this tin of tinned tomatoes. 
she went, oh yeah, that's uh, that's from a multi-pack. There isn't a barcode on it. I was like, what do you mean it's from a multi-pack? I picked it up from an individual part of the shelf. How can it be? Oh, look, the furnace's name is Bernie. <laughs> Bernie Furnace. What's Bernie short for? I don't know. His legs just aren't long. Da 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 da. Um, but yeah, like it was on its own. It wasn't part of a multi pack. Oh, that's a great. That's a great voice. Oh hello. We don't get visitors down here very often. My name is Bernie, and I'm in charge of the heating in this palace. <laughs> oh no, I got the crickets. Um. But yeah, it just it struck me as really odd. I went back and there were no multi-packs of tin tomatoes, let alone one that was open that I would have accidentally picked one out of. I picked up an individual can from the same point that I picked up one of these supposed multi-pack cans, and the the one I picked up had a barcode. The thing, what I've, the problem is that you feel like an idiot when you go, oh, excuse me, this has no barcode on it, and then she goes, yeah, that's because it's from a multi-pack. She didn't do that, but like, I felt like an idiot. I got back with the tin, scanned it through, she saw me and I was like, thank you. And she laughed. I was like, don't laugh at me. I don't like doing shopping. There's no way I'll be able to spark a flame in this temperature. My innards are frozen solid. All right, well, uh, allow us to warm up your insides. We've got, we have gotten good at problem solving. Go on then, but don't touch anything. I have a very sensitive stomach. Alright. Bernie, let us come inside. And see. Stop it. Oh, look at that thwomp. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, he does have... He does have a kind of thwompy voice. Ah, oh, uh, hello. We're just the uh, dentists here to check the health of Bernie's molars. Ah. Oh. <laughs> also managed to get some chocolate shortcake as well, so... That was incredible. Some like short shortbread biscuits with huge chunks of chocolate in. Very good. Stop what? I'm just saying. I'm just trying to preempt any gutter thoughts that people might be having. When I said, I, you know what? I'm not even going to give you the satisfaction of repeating it. Nope. Absolutely not. What are we doing here? It's a boss fight. Okay, it's breeze block. Bookend something other. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we just need to hide behind the fan, I guess. What do I do? Do I just torch him? It seems like I've got stuff to melt right here. Why is... Why are the ice blocks not rendering in properly? All of these blocks that we're able to freeze... Oh, sorry, that we're able to melt... Are just coming through as great big black squares, and I'm not entirely sure why that might be. Okay, we've got all the. Okay, well, we did have all the lamps on. Is there something else I'm supposed to do here? Oh, okay. He's had enough. He's had enough. Look what you've done! I'm melting! Oh, what a world, what a world. Oh, I'm flushing! How could a sweet, innocent squirrel like you put an end to my delightful clamminess? Oh, I'm flushing! Oh! Name the game. <laughs> We're a right pain in the icicles. You want to watch out for that pain in your icicles. I have no idea what you could possibly be talking about. <laughs> the native bagel. Hey, Nick. Hello, Connor. How are you this evening? Long time no speak. How are you doing? 
how's 2021 been for you so far? I don't think we've spoken since your birthday. Your name is lovely. It's so good, isn't it? Isn't I, I wish I'd gone with that. <laughs> Why have we got to sit through the cutscene each time? Never mind. Okay, so this time we're going to do better. So we melt the glitched out ice blocks. I think uh, now I have a clearer idea of what's going on. I.e. don't run into the torches too much. We light the torches so that he takes like constant damage. And we also spend time torching him with our own breath as well. Whilst dodging his own icicles. We don't actually even necessarily need to light the torches. We just need to set fire in his general direction. Without running into him or the fire. This is fine though. This is this is like facing off against the horn in the binding of Isaac. And just like facing off against the horn in the binding of Isaac, I'm doing a very bad job of it. <laughs> Ow. And there goes our devil deal chance. This is a long boss fight. <laughs> okay, he's he's getting small though. Ow, come on. Two hit points left versus however much health he has left. He's still going? There's not even any butterflies I can eat to heal up at the moment. Maybe now we just need to resort to burning these alcove torches. Don't walk into the fires! You'd have thought that I wouldn't need to be told that. Being, you know, an adult. That's it, that's it. He's nearly dead. He's nearly out. He's nearly gone. Okay, he's too small to shoot us now. Or he was on that occasion. But that was probably because he was too low to the ground, it seemed. He's gone at last. Oh my goodness me. I haven't been for like 10 years. Maybe doing some bits and bobs everywhere. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? We're off to watch the live theatre. Alright, enjoy mischief. See you later. It's pretty long, like watching ice melt. It's okay. It's probably one of the coolest jokes we've had. What a sad end to my 48 hour reign of terror frosting up the spoiler. <laughs> Told my family I went out doing what I loved. Firing projectiles at an interspecies buddy duo. Yeah. What is it with kids games having interspecies relationships? Because we had the same thing yesterday. Hello, Bernie. Ooh, much better. You two heroes put a fire in my belly. You put fire in my belly? This means I can warm the palace back up. Keep an eye out for the floor grates. The thermal heat will surely come in handy. Awesome. So I guess now we can't go inside Bernie anymore. Which is a shame, because... There was a doorway that opened that I wanted to have a little look inside. But sure enough. Oh, there we go. Yes. So we can use Laylee's flight to hover over the vents. Very nice. 
I've been doing laboring for a friend. Ooh, get you. I haven't done any kind of manual labor in a year, for a year. Put a table together, yes, uh, a couple of days ago. That's about it. And even then, does it count? Not really, it was an Ikea table. Doesn't count as properly putting a table together, does it really? It's just, just live. That's all you need to do now, guys, is just live. Oh, easy! Easy. Thank you. Fantastic. Let me up. We need to move on from here. Been in Wimbledon for the last two weeks on a roof in the rain. Well, you took on the labouring. No, you didn't have to. You know, joy of joy of furlough means that you do get to do literally this and be paid for the pleasure of it. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I feel like I've been working in the rain because my roof's got a leak. So, I haven't been working in the rain. I've been trying to sleep in the rain. Quite literally. <laughs> I'll be honest, you're not doing well here. I'm not doing well, am I? Really, I'm 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 really sucking on this so far. Don't take the no, no. You don't take that out of context. None of that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um. Where was I? Yeah, so I've been sleeping in the rain. I'm not. We've spent about an hour in this portion of the level already. It's uh, it's outrageous. What game is this, and what's the story? So this is a game called Ukulele. It's, as Rach says, a very similar game to Banjo Kazooie for the N64. Um, it was made by the same people, pretty much. It's just this game has come out like 20 years later. A very similar style of game. You've got to go around, collect all the stuff. Oh, beautifully done. Collect all the stuff and all that kind of thing. We haven't played Banjo-Kazooie on the channel yet, but I would like to. I thought we'd better start with Ukulele because I really enjoy Banjo-Kazooie. And I wanted to play Ukulele first. So that I'm not constantly kind of... I Basically, so I'm not... Just going, oh, Banjo did this better. Banjo did this better, you know. If I play this first, then we can go back to the game that I know is incredible. And we'll go from there. Funny enough, just spoke to Kay. Oh, you have? Funny enough, so have I, actually. It must be it must be a slow night in Lanzarote. <laughs> I'm a Banjo-Kazooie virgin. <gasps> Here's all of his coins! Oh. A sense of trap. Well, immediately right away, I'm spotting one coin that's turning in a different direction to all the others. You guys may not have spotted that because I selfishly left the room by accident. So let's try that again. Um, Banjo-Kazooie is an incredible game. Would 100% recommend should you ever get the chance to play it. The soundtrack is unbelievably good. Um, it kind of takes what Super Mario 64 started, very similar game to Mario 64, it takes what that game did and builds on it and creates a much more interesting world. Both games are incredible in their own right, but Banjo-Kazooie is great. Uh, this is going to be the coin we're going to pick because it's the only one turning in a different direction. I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. <laughs> Alright, Rextro. What do you got for us? Thanks! You should try Rextro's next arcade game! <laughs> <laughs> what noise does an arctic turn make, Colin? Backstreet Boys! <laughs>
that's it. Plenty of SMLT. Maybe that should be our next emote. Is Scythe the Smart. Scythe the Smarts. Yes, we've got a coin. I am ready to try the next game. If we beat it, we get a prize. Thank you very much. First, we've got to get up there. So let's do that. Do friends want to play fun arcade game? Yeah, you bet. Can you feel the power of the glaciators? <laughs> it's a two minute game. Grab quills, grab power ups, hit things, get the high score. I will do my very best. If players like quills and corporate battles, then this definitely, then this definitely arena brawler for you. I see. All right, so we got a jump, a spin attack, and a jump attack. How hard can it be? <laughs> so is this just a fight for survival, I guess? Or get the most amount of quills? Oh, but watch out because the land slips away and some of these are very icy and will cause us to slip around a bit more. We don't have that much health either. Or oh, I've got three butterflies of health. There's another quill vomit. Some of them are different colours. Some of them are bigger than others as well by the looks of it. So it looks like we should go for them ones. This is another interesting game. I like this one. There was the, the fun one we played at the end of the previous stream. Invincibility. Nice. I'll take a load of that. Whoa. Don't protect against that though, I bet. Oh, nice save, nice save. Give me the quills. Ah, oh, give me quill back. Not the Spelunky boss, just give me give me the ones that I just dropped. Speed boost, I'll take it. Don't run off the edge, though. Definitely don't want to be doing any of that. Ow. They're taking more and more away from me the further this goes in as well, so I definitely want to be getting hit less and less. I can't remember what the high score is that we need to try and beat. Hopefully it's not too much higher than wherever we're at. Oh, we can't glide. Okay. I, I think I've been trying to glide this whole time and that's where things have been going wrong. I'm still confused as to what the significance of the butterflies are. Unless those are lives that only refer to you falling into the water. Which we haven't done. That invincibility lasted no time whatsoever. 2010. Gladiator! Oh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Glaciators! Ready! Contenders! Ready! Three! Two! One! <laughs> that was the best whistle impression I could do at the moment. For a bit of context, for those who are not from the UK or not old enough, uh, it's from a old TV show called Gladiators here in the UK. It may have made the the franchise may have made it elsewhere as well. It did sound like a trumpet. Gladiators, you will go on my first trumpet. <laughs> um, and it was uh, essentially a fitness-based game show where contestants had to outdo. Oh, uh, yes. It can, contestants had to outdo professional sports people in a in like physical combat. Not combat, but physical contests and stuff like that, such as climbing, uh, like push, shoving past people, dodging stuff and stuff. It was a really, really, really good show. I'd thoroughly recommend checking clips out on YouTube and things like that. It's a really good show. Really good show. It was an iconic game show of the 90s here in the UK. Do we actually, do we get a reward? I guess we, I guess we didn't do it. What is the high score? 1400? We can do that.
Okay, first things first, you get yourself that speed boost. And now we know that there are different coloured quills of varying amounts, we go for the gold and silver first. Before dealing with the bronze ones. Oh, look at that. That's a great start. We got all of them. All of them. Straight away. Okay, those ones are gone. They might come back up, though. So we could stand a chance. That's some invincibility right there. I'll take that. Nice, we got them all again. This is the kind of round we're hoping for. Hopefully with a bit less physical contact from the creatures though. That'd be good. Are you kidding me? No! Okay, the butterflies are your lives for falling in the water. Now that that's been established and confirmed, we can just roll onwards. Don't worry about the bronze ones. Gold and silver first. And then the bronze ones. None of that. None of that. Sorry, none of that. We're going to be provincially correct. Feel like the floor disappearing patterns. Did you see that save? That was incredible. Feel like the floor disappearing patterns are a little bit more complex in this round. However, I think we have done it. We have got nearly 2,000. The high score was like 14, I think. Nice. Easy. It was the 90s, however, it did have some 80s flavour. It, it was very 80s flavour as well. It certainly was. I just remember the opening titles for that game, uh, for that game show, are incredible. It reminds me of... For anyone who's ever played Star Fox for the SNES, it reminds me of the theme song for the Corneria uh, levels. The very first level in the game. It's an incredible song. Would 100% recommend. I'd love to play that on stream one day as well, but uh, that's quite difficult to emulate. And I haven't got my SNES here. And even if I did, I don't think I've got a way to hook it up to my computer yet. No, I don't want to play anything. Please, I would like to carry on with my adventure in this strange world. Good luck. Indeed. It's going to be a tough one. Okay, where are we now? Oh, there's a grand hallway. Talking of game shows, bring on the wall! Insta-kill. Right. Okay, well, ground pound isn't what we were after there. Something like this. Okay, insta-kill feels a bit harsh for this bit. Either it's a bit harsh, or this is not how this bit's supposed to be done. Don't glide! Gliding causes death. We know that. Get good. Uh, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not salty yet. Just you're always so quick with the salty bits. I'm not salty. I'm just kind of mindful of the option that we might be doing things incorrectly. However, it wouldn't be entirely out of character for this game to have a section which is just populated by insta-kill like this. We're getting there though. The quills are important, we need them. Let me out of here. There we go. I got good. And now, now they've stopped. I see you there though. I know you're coming after me. 
Ah. Uh, he's scared. A scared chicken. Yeah, chip, 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 chip. Yeah, chip, 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 chip. <laughs> Okay, well, what of this? Have we been everywhere in this section now? I don't feel like we have. There's... There's two things that we... So there's that pagey, and then there's the one past the security camera that we haven't been to. However, we have got a load of extra things to check out now because... We turned on the furnace, and that caused all of the vents to light up. So we could actually... Oh, that was weird. We could actually have some stuff going down for us now. Or rather, going up for us. Am I right? Uh, give me the platform. Thank you. I don't need, I don't need these other ones. I don't need them. We got a new life container. In fact, I think we didn't. I think we just got a health refill on, on that one. That's unfortunate. Never mind. Okay. I know that we have been here. However, we've now got to go and check all the other rooms for extra vents. Ah, ah, ha, 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 you see? But for what point and purpose, I can't be sure. Um. So that doesn't go any higher than that. Huh. Right. Okay. Very triumphant. And then all of a sudden, not. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not going through all that again. I'm not. Because that only leads us to down here anyway. We didn't test these windows. Those windows are not go-throughable. I'm lost. I am a little bit as well. However, I think we are pretty much done with this section. The only thing I can think of that we might be able to do is if we can carry the fireball from that plant there all the way to... I'm going to do it! Ah, okay, okay, okay. Fine. Keep your secrets. So yeah, if we take the fireball from here, can I then maybe possibly carry this all the way back to that first room? Well, not with anything like that, I can't. Because if we can carry this back to the first room, then I might be able to... But no, we can't. No, we can't. And yeah, that just leads us all the way over there. I'm a I assume that there wasn't anything else over here. The platform will just go down. Yes, the platform does just go down. Absolutely fine. You can end me here. That's absolutely fine. That's fine. Okay, good. So I think... I think we're pretty much done for this section of the level. At long last. <laughs> Other than that bit with the security camera that I... Your guess is as good as mine. We'll just have to... Uh, we'll have to come back at some point. And also we need to do with this. Which I don't know how to do either. Unless, hang on a second, just hold, hold, hold your horses. 
Posture check. Hydration break. Love it. Unless I can, like, ground pound some of the floor. And that will lead us over to... <laughs> they said his intelligence could never be matched in his lifetime. And lo and behold, he goes and proves why. That is incredible. That will melt down. And give me a page. Thanks so very, very much. Lovely. So actually now... I have nothing else to do in this section of the level, I believe. Pagey. Sorry. I put the I in the wrong place and pronounced it wrong. That's my fault. Oopsie daisy. Bye then. Can I get a retake? It's certainly not what I wanted. <laughs> certainly not. And this leads us back to here. There's no vents to take care of here. And there was nothing else in here either. This was just... Yeah, this was just a... I mean, there is a vent down in there, but I think that's probably more of a drain than it is a vent, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's get out of the isometric tower. And carry on with our lives. We're done here. Depth perception. Thank you. He's getting good. That leads us back to here. There's some tonics that I'm not... I can't buy any new ones for right now, so... And this brings us back through to here. Then we're sorted. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I've had enough of this part of the level. The sad fact of the matter is we've got to come back and do this. We've got to come back and find our way back to the things that we haven't done at a later date. How are we doing for the for the level, though? What's our totals looking like? Hivery Towers. We need a heart container, and that's it. Otherwise, we're doing okay. Tribal Stack Tropics. There's still some stuff we need to do, but I think we need some extra moves before we can do that, so I'm not too worried about that. Glitter Glaze Glacier is where we are right now, and we are making good progress, actually. I think we could nail this level shut. Other than that security camera pagey, I'm getting the impression that we could nail this this one closed. That's future as well. You're right, that is a problem for future me to deal with. And as I am not him, it doesn't matter. Geronimo. Oh, now I've got a move that lets me walk on the water. Not on the water, but on the water's edge. No, under underwater. Right trigger. Right trigger whilst underwater. There we go. Fantastic. Now, is this going to be helpful to us? Quite possibly. Certainly will make underwater exploration a fraction easier. There's a giant locked door that we need to try and find down here. And that will take us onto the next portion of the level. You are unstoppable. Ah ha 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 ha! Here it is. Oh! I'm in trouble. Something came along and burst my bubble. Everyone remember that song? Alright. I'm just gonna get some air. 
to find it hard to breathe with no a uh, or however that goes all right let's do it no smart comments here they haven't got anything to say whoa they just they just glide with the key they haven't got any smart comments to make because <laughs> I now can't use my index finger to touch the controller until uh, my finger dries. <laughs> there we go, we're good. We made it, we're fine. Maybe just stoppable then. Oh, we're back in the Isometric Palace! Oh, this isn't what I wanted. I thought we were going to a new area, but we're not. The Why is the water level sinking? Okay, oh, and now it's rising again. Okay, so it's just the game mechanic. Got you. Here's Jay. Hello, friends. Good evening to you. Are you alright, bud? Taking this as a sign that you have finished up with work for the evening. Bye, Pringles. <laughs> so so? It's unfortunate. You'll have to let me know how your day was when you get in. We've been discussing Pringles quite heavily on stream so far, so that's why that's come up. Tiling is by Matthew Cox Floors. We'll bury your evidence. <laughs> that would really help. Then pick yourself up some Pringles, my friend. We've only got sensations at the moment. Get some Ben and Jerry's whilst you're at it. <laughs> I mean, part of me wants to go, like, can you stop encouraging this kind of eating rage? But on the other hand, I'm also here going, that does sound very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there. So we've got a sonar, the... Sonar the totems. Easy peasy. In a minute, though, is maybe not so. Having said that, the water level is playing to our strengths right now. That was a good. That was a good call. We caught it as it rose, which has allowed us to make considerable headway on this already. I think we just got the one more to do over on this side. That was incredibly straightforward. Easy. I don't know what the problem was. Why not add peanut butter and Oreos? Sensations are a good second line. They, they, are, they are good. They are good. Um, but yes. But yes. Hype! Okay, now, where am I? Is this... Okay, this is the pagey that was locked for us. Who's whistling? Hmm. I see those walls there. They look like something I'll be able to break. And sure enough, there's the grenade plant right there. Well, that's going to make things easy. I think it's Laylee. Okay, might be. Signage by the David Sim Fitting Company. Never get lost again. Those have got to be like in jokes or developer names or something like that that I'm just not privy to. Oh my god, look at these chickens. Oh, they're not chickens. They're just the. They look like chickens in the light. They're all the monsters. That's fine. The, the fact the grenades are gone, we should just take these out by take these out by tail now. That's fine. SMRT. <laughs> Sit yourself down, boys. Is it just this one left? Okay, well, what now? What was the point in this section? Um, oh, that one I think we can go through. 
Okay. That's fenced. That's fenced. Okay, so it's just straight ahead through here. It is indeed. I thought we were done with this place, but apparently not. Hello. Oh, there's a hot tub. Oh. It's got playing cards on the bottom. Hello. Sorry, tub's broken. Bubbles all gone. Don't worry, I had chilli for dinner. I can make the bubbles. That's disgusting, sorry. Tubbs has a problem with gas. Oh dear. Hmm. How? How do we get gas into a hot tub? There you go. I've got a bubble for you. Hmm. Something to do with these pipes. These pipes are leading around everywhere. But I am also prepared to say that this is going to be a no. And that it's something that... We could try a grenade plant. Let's at least try throwing a grenade at the hot tub and seeing if that will make it work. <laughs> no, it's... Um, who knew? Throwing grenades at a hot tub does not make it work. Just the one, though. You'll have to make it. <laughs> Just one solitary bubble. Yeah, I, I'm going to assume that that's something to do with whatever's behind that security camera thing. Although we have this as well that we weren't able to open or unlock or deal with in any kind of way whatsoever. I don't think there's anything else for me in this part of the level. Indeed not. Okay, then let's just get out. I can't remember if there was a third place in this level that we can go and investigate. And I don't know if I'm prepared to commit the time to searching for it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like... This is going to take a while. I think it was just the two keys. And so on that basis... Actually, there is, there is one other thing that I do want to work out how to check out. And it's somewhere up above it looks like there might be something else to access that we haven't been able to yet so I might want to just try and find a way up there however like I say I am prepared to just call it a day on this level it has been an hour and a half this is becoming a trope for ukulele we're just spending six hours per level at the moment which is too too much we bought all of the moves from trouser the snake right yes we have bought everything okay but look how pretty it is pretty it is pretty don't don't get me wrong the game looks wonderful but we can't keep spending so much time on each level. You know, we weren't we probably weren't even supposed to be coming back here. Because we've not been able to expand our move pool in any way, so I still have absolutely no idea how to unlock level three. That was the whole point of coming here, was to try and unlock level 3. <laughs> and, um... Well, that ain't happened. 
want to see if I can find this other area up on high that I needed to access. So I think uh, the the frost balls are in the way. Okay. Let me get some more honey. A little bit of sugar, sugar. Did you hear him go? Mm mm. I can't believe I haven't noticed that yet. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. You can do it. There we go. Good boy. Right, let's see if he does it again. He does, he goes, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> what a cool little feature. All the little touches. You want me to like your game? Just add cool little touches like that. Yeah, 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 look, I knew it. Over there. How does one get over to there? There's definitely another cage with a page in it. How do we get over there, Laylee? Your guess is as good as mine. Because honey is delicious. The honey monster knows he does. I am the honey monster. Was that the honey monster? That felt a bit more like the cookie monster, to be honest. <laughs> C is for cookie is good enough for me. <laughs> Remember the creepy guy? Well, the honey monster. I thought the honey monster was alright. <gasps> I forget you can eat coal from the brazier. There was a brazier in the temple and we didn't eat from it oh man okay well do I spend the time and going back and, and do that or do I hope that I will remember that that's one of the things we have to do Because I know I won't remember that that's what I need to do, but at the same time, I can't face going back. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, the honey monster or Tony the tiger? My... I don't know. I think Tony the tiger is too... is too passive and too nice. You get a smack in the face and just be like, that's great! Where are we now? Have we actually come here? Oh, yeah, we have come here. We're up here. I didn't recognise the grass. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're gonna just get out of here. He's ripped though. What, and the honey monster isn't? The honey monster strikes me as the kind of creature that has aggression stored inside and the ability to deliver that aggression when needed. Did you see him when they changed the name of Sugar Puffs? My god. Goodness me, he was beside himself. He couldn't contain his rage. Other sugar-coated puffed rice cereals are available, of course. I presume. Are they? Who knows? You can... The eyeballs attack you, huh? Okay. Alright, executive decision made. We're just gonna leave. We're just going to leave and move on to some new content. Some new level. Snap, Crackle and Pop versus Coco, the Coco Pops monkey. Hmm. I think Snap, Crackle and Pop would win that one. Assuming that they're working as a threesome. Then on the sheer fact that they outnumber Coco... They win. Uh, 
Okay, let's get out of here. You guys will just have to remind me that what we need to do, what we need to do. It's as simple as that. Monkeys are smart, though. Some like to equate. True. What? What? What are what are those really aggressive monkeys called? You know the ones that just screech and actually do just rip faces off of people. I can't remember their name. So yeah, I think you're right. It's certainly plausible. However, I don't know if Coco is one of those kinds of monkeys. I always assumed he was a kind of chimpanzee. Uh, what is it? It's like Eurysis monkeys or something like that? I don't know if that rings a bell for anybody, if it helps to kind of like jog a, jog a vague memory and you go, Oh yeah, I know the one you mean. No, you know, like, I mean, all ca I guess all monkeys are capable of it, but you know the ones, they've got the long faces, like, the top and the bottom fangs. Like, they are super vicious. Rhesus monkeys, yes. Is it those? I'm gonna do things my way. It's my way. My way or the flyway. Just saw the book title. Rhesus Monkeys. That's what I was thinking of. They'll rip your face off, but damn do they good do good peanut butter flavoured chocolate. Okay, so we're back here. And I don't... I don't know... What to do from here. Lion bar or boost? Hmm. Okay, that's back to level one. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, probably a lion bar out of the two. Like, I, I wouldn't pick either of them. But if I had to, it would be a lion bar. Oh, is that simple, right? Just got to... Just got to get past the jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, hello. There we go. It was literally that simple. We just had to make ourselves a big bubble. And... I feel like an absolute idiot. And I feel like I have wasted... Nearly an hour and 80 minutes of everybody's time. It was as simple as just being a big bubble under the water and going in the right direction. All these jack-o'-lanterns are beginning to cause concern for me, though. Thinking about weird things about chimpanzees. I think it was Planet Earth 2 that taught me that chimps are sometimes cannibalistic. Wouldn't be surprised. Sure enough, they hurt. I thought they would. Okay, here we are. This is looking like it's going to be Mad Monster Mansion. Let's do some exploration. Alright, you got a button for me here. I'm assuming it's going to be an assault course that I won't be able to complete because I can't activate whatever it is that needs activating. 1 hour and 80? Not 2 hours and 20? What? Been wa I've wasted it. What did I say? Did I say an hour and 80 minutes? I meant an hour and 20. And even then, that's incorrect. An hour and 40. Is that what I said? I don't know. You said you wasted an hour and... Well, it feels like I've wasted that much time running around. Stay back. What? No, we're nice. Huh. Doof. Okay, so... I ain't having that. Oh, 
What's your problem? <laughs> Back off. I know origami. I, I mean, this is obviously going to be a case of we're not going to be able to catch this, so... We're just going to need to give up and wait until we learn another move. Watch out, he can make lucky stars. Ninja stars? Wait till you see the crane. <laughs> you just imagine if he did start folding himself into different shapes and bits and pieces. Like those fortune teller things where you have to go... You know what I mean. I can't do it with one hand that well. You know the... <laughs> Alright, so I guess it's uh, it's time to take on Mad Monster Mansion. Because I can't do anything with that pagey. He's just legged it. Alright, what do you got for me? Seven? Easy. Oh, Moody Maze Marsh. Sorry, not Mad Monster Mansion. Still the alliterative M's. That's it. Knowing how to make one of those will forever be embedded in my... I have no idea how to make those. I can't even make a paper plane. Okay. Can I expand... Can... I want to expand this now. Just so... Ow. Just so we haven't got to deal with all the chaos. Oh, you can expand early. Great. Is it worth doing, do you reckon? Like, should we just expand straight away? Because that's what I have been saying we should do. So that we just have the whole level at our disposal and haven't got to worry about backtracking too much. But also... Like, we, we're obviously going to have to backtrack anyway because we'll need moves. And I'm... Hmm. Saying yes? I don't know, I'm kind of talking myself out of it. I feel like it's got to be better to get a lay of the land and then expand. Sorry. <laughs> Nobody knows why Nimbo's wife left him for that typhoon. I seem to remember it told me that last time. Here we go. Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, Moody Maze Marsh. Sorry. It's going to take a couple of habits to break. What the... These... This stone texture is... Horrible. Like, they look like eyes. Oh! What? Ow! Okay. Swamp water hurts. Yeah, that stone texture makes me feel very uneasy. I don't want any of that. Ugh. They look pretty disgusted as well. Just disappointed. I know the feeling. Okay. So we've got clear water that is safe, and we've got dingy water which is harmful. Case in point. Good. And we've got the spiky thorns as well, which are also going to be dangerous. Now we know. Now we know. Now we know. Give me the give me the underwater bubble. Anything that means that I haven't got to swim, sign me up. Oh, aha! A button. Oh no! That's not what I meant. What I meant was that. Did I get it? I did it. Yes, because the fans are off now. Let me up. Ah, sweet, sweet air. Swamp air, but air. Okay, what's going on? Need to take out some of these thorny norks. Oh, give me the butterfly, please. 
Give me some health. I've been losing it. Like a mad man. What are these mushrooms about? I can just whip them away. Good. Good. Very good. Oh, uh, look at... Look at this doofy pumpkin right here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Pumpkin. <laughs> Not how I imagined the pumpkin would sound. Okay. Don't go in the water. Heard. Well, how hard can that be? Excuse me? I don't think I went in the water there, but... Okay, I'll give you the benefit. We'll play it. We'll do a second round. I think I'm just dipping my toes. That is how you do it. I'm just going to hop up onto the geometry. I hope you all don't mind. However, I also feel like that's going to cause us problems in gauging where we are in the continuity of the level. So I won't go too much out of the way. Easy. Thank you. Oh, it's Trouser the Snake. Give me the moves. Welcome, friends. Sausage features? Can a trouser snake, or can trouser the snake be accused of having sausage features? I guess it can. Uh, <gasps> Launching a trouser patented drone delivery business? Ooh! That sounds great! <laughs> Why don't you have a look at what's in stock? Show me how you want me to be. Lizard Lash. Reach high points with a simple manoeuvre. Sonar Explosion. Don't use near glass. Well, we should take both of those. We can afford both, so we should take both. Three consecutive sales snake of the year award. Oh, okay, got you. How does a move win you? Can we stop with this, please? I just... This, ar the arbitrary back and forth between characters is starting to rustle my gears a bit. Okay. And Sonar Explosion. Yeah, let's go. Cool. He's not finished. Great. Okay, so we've got two new moves. We have got the Sonar Explosion. Look at her go. Nicely done, girl. And then we have got the Lizard Lash Grapple. Which is how we use those. Ha ha. Fantastic. Now we can begin to make some progress. That's an explosion, all right. It certainly was. Like, it even, like, messes up the audio a bit. Like, it kind of goes, sounds like you're underwater for a bit. <laughs> it's really good. All right, let's explore ground level first. We will move up higher in a little bit. 
first. I want to see what's going on. I don't want to miss a thing. I just want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. Da 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 da. Okay, rafts sink. We've been taught this already with the help of a pagey. Oh, he brought the pumpkin to life. None of that. None of that. He's gone. Who's laughing? Is it you, miss? Oh, I think you've had enough to drink, ma'am. You look like you're trolleyed to me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I know they're bad. I know the jokes are bad. I should be carted off. Oh, oh, another sad day in the swamp for Ollie. Oh, I get it, because people dump trolleys in canals. Got it. Ollie the trolley. That was, um... That was always... That was like a playground rhyme while I was at school. It'd be like, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Slang name for ladies' cleavage in the trolley. Something like that. It would be like someone, someone's mum's cleavage is in the trolley. Or something like that. I don't know. Discarded and unloved. <laughs> Alright, Hot Wheels. <laughs> you have no clue what I'm talking about? The only thing you'll find in my basket is heartbreak and despair. Oh my gosh. And swamp trash. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Yes, I'm interested in a maze. But first. But first! Wait, there's more! There's no more. But. Let's. I'm gonna try and look up this rhyme. Just to make sure I'm not going mad. Is it like. Something like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is a thing, but I can't really... Uh, it, it's a football song, apparently. I can't... I can't really read it out loud. But, um... Here we go. So it goes... Ollie, ollie, ollie. Ladies' cleavage in a trolley. Men's... In a biscuit tin. So let's, let's do it like that. So Ollie 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 in the trolley in a biscuit tin sitting on the grass with my finger up me playing with me dingling. That's, the, that's literally it. Here you go. I mean, like, it's... I won't read it out loud, but here you go. Look, I'll, I'll put it in chat. You can avert your eyes now if you do not wish to see it, but there it is. Okay. It's really odd that the, mo the bot moderators kind of censor words that are okay to use, but that had absolutely no issues whatsoever. On, 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 I'm, I'm so glad it was that it's actually a thing and that I'm not going completely mad. Never heard it in my time. Must have been a boys' school thing. I went to an all-boys secondary school, so it must have just been a boys' school thing. Like I say, it's a football song, but like, I don't know. Okay, so we've got ourselves a maze to take care of now. Is that what I'm reading here? Okay, here's the door. Oh! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. All these crates are getting in my way a bit. Okay. Well, that was... That was an interesting first part. Oh, okay. So once you get hit by one of those, that's the end of your that's the end of the that's the end of your game. That's the end of it.
However, we wake up right back at the start. And guess what? You have to talk to the freaking trolley again. To start it, why not just leave the damn door open? I've got to go through all this rigmarole of cutscene again! There were some very unusual design choices for this game. Considering it was made by a professional and experienced game development company, they have made some unusual game design choices, in my opinion. And I've got one that's going to begin to chase me. There you go, simple as that. What was all the fuss? Huh? What was all the fuss? What was all the fuss? Where's Ollie the trolley? I want to have words. Okay, you can't do a second one. Oh, this is great game design right here. <laughs> you have to hold left, you know, sorry, you have to hold right to leave the maze, but then the camera changes and as you're holding right, you re-enter the maze so the camera changes, but you're holding right so you leave the maze so the camera changes and then you re-enter the maze. And... Nice one. You have to, you have to anticipate that. Where's the lamb sauce? There you go. I did it, you dumb critter. Oh wait, there's an there's some more that's opened up. Everything's fine. Nope, I'm pretty sure you can conquer any challenges in this game. <laughs> oh man, Laylee is pulling no punches. Oh, that's really infuriating. And that just leads us... Okay, so there isn't actually anything new to uncover here. It's just... It is what it is. And what it is, is that. Alright, let's move onwards then. We don't need to worry any more about this section, I don't think. We'll explore a little ways over around here, though. So this is where we came out. So let's see what's over here. I do see that raft in the water there. You just parked up? Alright, I will come and let you in. Jay left the door key so I could go and do the food shop today. Give me two minutes, my friend. I'll be right down. Stream, give me two minutes and I will be right back. Sit tight, don't go anywhere. And we'll be back for the last hour. I will see you in a moment. Alright, we're back. We're back. We're back. Are you back? I hope you're back. I'm back. And do you know what? He only he only went and bought me some love hearts as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck into one of these. This first one. This first one is for you guys. All right. I got some love hearts. Here we go. The first one. Oh, it's not gonna show up, is it? Go on. Is it gonna focus? Oh, it's doing. It's trying. Look. There we go. Oh. Love you. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at all them hearts. Let's get back in. Oh, the game ain't there. The game ain't there. Let's bring the game up. There it is. Okay, let's carry on. Oh my god, I've not had love hearts in ages. They're so delicious. Oh. Oh, they're good. That's very good. Mmm. Oh my god, there's another trolley. What's your name? Wally the trolley. Wally the trolley looks like a early noughties rap star.
Okay. Please, let's just... Must be a way to knock them all at once. I think I have an idea on how to do that. Is there? I need some options here. Short speech! Thank you. Hopefully, there's gold in them shrooms, I tell you. Hopefully that'll make cutscenes a bit more enjoyable. Okay. So we've got to get rid of them all at once. Do it, Laylee. You know it. She's so good. Good girl, come on. And the last ones. What a play. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I can't believe they even spelt it B-O-I. <laughs> yeah, boy! What do you got? What do you got for me, Wally, the trolley? We did. We did smash all them shrooms. This isn't short speech. I can't, like, I'm missing things because I'm just trying to spam through this because it takes so long. I don't need all of this additional narrative content. I don't need all of the fourth wall breaks and kind of attempts uh yeah unnecessary plot i i'm not interested i just want the story of the game like and that's it i don't want to know too much a little bit of interactions fine but this is just sort of constant persistent pace breaking commentary And the persistent fourth wall breaking is beginning to grate on me a bit. No, but funny jokes though. I, I don't mind them. But we've got to draw the line somewhere. And at the moment, it hasn't drawn that line. It's just, it's breaking up, it's breaking the pace. Definitely doesn't ruin the pace. <laughs> I like how the jack-o'-lanterns watch you as you go through. I think that's this game's biggest crime, is that it's just... It's pacing just isn't great. Between the constant unnecessary dialogue between the characters and how sparse the levels are. And how open-ended the levels are. It kind of, it gets to a point very easily where you're in the game and it's like, I just want to be over with this bit now. I want to move on to something else, but I can't because... Mostly because I can't swim. But I can't move on because the... The dialogue is just non-stop. I can't move on because this level still needs doing all that kind of stuff. It's just that's what it's suffering from is just a poor poor pacing management. Okay, that probably should have been obvious. Okay, we get a redo on that, I think. Okay, and I also lost health for that because I lost control during the cutscene and fell on one of the spiky balls. Cool. <laughs> it tries too hard, but not in the areas that matters. Exactly right. Like, an occasional fourth wall break is fine. Just for, like, the game's meta and stuff, but it's every line of dialogue. It's like, I'm not interested in that anymore. I just want to... I just want to get on with the game, right? Oh no! Oh, I forgot that that doesn't do the thing. It's okay, I'm... Don't... Don't play the you lose jingle. I was in there, I got it. You tried, you tried. But alas, you got to get up much earlier than that to get one over on me, let me tell you. 
This looks interactable. Do I sing it? No. Maybe I have to, like, giga, giga sonar. No. But when the wink wink nudge nudge becomes a slap across the face, it may... Yes. And that's what this game hasn't gotten quite right. Like, it does a lot of other things really well. It looks really good. The the sound design is incredible as well. Which is what I was which is what I would definitely expect from this game. Oh, what have I done? Okay, 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 okay. The puzzles are quite in inventive as well. Definitely on board with some of this stuff. This is like a really interesting idea. But there are definitely things that the game doesn't get right and it's a real sort of detriment to it sometimes. I'm trying to watch the sponge and me at the same time and it's not easy. No! <laughs> Come on. It would help if you could run onto the buttons rather than having to jump onto them. You're going to make me start this again, aren't you? Oh, he pressed the wrong button. This one's not going to be a one. This one's not going to be the one. It could be the one, you know. It could be the one if he hadn't stepped. <sighs> no, that was so near. Oops, wrong way. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, close. This one's the one. Oh, uh, he's going the wrong way. He's going the wrong way. Dang. Come on, up. To the right. Up. To the left. Everything we own in a little yellow sponge to the left. Oh we have returned. Welcome back, Nay. How was... <coughs> Excuse me. How was the show? Brilliant as per, I'm hoping. Perfect. Apologies for the little break right there. Very funny. Think one of the favourites. I mean, that's another ten dates. That's brilliant. I'm going to check out the website. I think uh, I reckon that when Jay and I have a spare evening, we'll go and uh, we'll uh, we'll watch one of them. That'd be quite a good way to spend a night. Haven't missed much here. We're now on level three, Mad Monster Mansion. Oh, I keep calling it that. It's um, it's not called that though. It's called Mad Misty Marsh or something like that. We've been discussing the finer points of game design and how this game has not explored those finer points too well. And that's about it. <laughs> All right, now. Oh, hello. Gotcha, you tried. Oh, we've got a new tonic from SpongeBob. Let's go, we'll have to go and see what that's all about in a moment. Where am I? 
Okay, we're just up there. Fine. Just let me get my bearings. We've watched every one so far, and they've all been fantastic. Must be making a fortune. Music is good in this level, actually. Music's been great in the whole game. We were just talking about the sound design. Because it's one of my favourite things to talk about in video games. And it is very, very good. It's very atmospheric. Um, yeah, did you say there were like a ten or a, a ticket? Or something like that? If they've been doing those for ages now. I have seen it advertised. If they've been doing those for ages, then... That's a that's a mad amount of money. Okay, what? Oh, come come on avec moi if you want to live. Beautiful. Thousands of viewers a night. Then they must yeah they must surely be raking it in. Good on them as well. I don't suppose I need to lick that, but we will anyway. Oh, yes, okay. No chance, sunshine. Oh, that's not the way we go. Oh, I spy a token for... Oh, my God, look at the size of this level. We haven't even expanded it yet. Combine participation tickets, which gets you access to a Zoom meeting. Ah, okay. So you actually that's where you actually get to contribute to the uh, to the improv. It's a really good idea. They, as a as a theatre company, they have a lot of phenomenal ideas, and I, I, I would hands down support mischief in any anything they do in any way I can. I reckon because they do just have such great ideas, and the stuff they make is always incredibly entertaining. And the thing is as well, right, you take those goes wrong shows, that is such a simple idea for a kind of style of performing. Every time I've watched a goes wrong show, I've sat there and I've thought to myself, how did I not think of this? Like when we had to come up with our final performance pieces for drama, uh, for, the, for the degree, I was like, why this would have been such a great thing to have done for the final performance it would have given john an absolute nightmare our technician he would have he would have i mean it was helpful that he was bald already because then he, he had no hair to lose but at the same time it would have been such an incredible thing he would have loved it in one way but i i remember him ranting about how stressed he would get out at some people's ideas. I remember we did a performance once that involved uh, like throwing paint and painting each other and stuff like that and he got very um, very protective over his curtains because those curtains are very expensive. The Muse song, you know it. Uprising by me. I still can't listen to that song. I hate it. I hate it. It's just ingrained in my in my brain, and I can't get rid of it. Oh, uh, we didn't actually explore the water in here. We just know that we weren't supposed to go in here. It doesn't look like there's anything in there though. Um, we went this way, I think. We've done that way. I can't remember if it was your group or another group, but the performance of a battle done with all the pepper, all the rats, is user. Yeah, that was, that, that was me. That was me. Yeah, yeah, that was our, that, that was our group. Yeah, that was me, Simon. Um, me, Simon. Uh, it was Bambi and and Mags, I think. I think Mags as well. Me, Simon. Yeah, me, Simon, Bambi, and Mags. I think had that one. 
Yes, it was Mags. It was Mags. Yeah, yeah. Me, Simon. Bambi and Mags. That was... I, I was really proud. I know Simon was super proud of that as well. But I that was a really great performance. I really enjoyed that. I sang at him! Why did he not go green? Oh yeah, because I have to punch him, not not sing at him. Oh no, wait. Do I not have to punch him? Yeah, there we go. We did it. That's fine. You tend to know all about it. I've mentioned your name a few times. But... I use it as an example of different staging for the theatre of cruelty. Ah, uh, good old Arto. <laughs> yes. Somebody even can reference from reference the ideas for themselves now. Well, should I ever meet your year tens, I hope that they will give me a mighty big thank you when they get A stars in their exams. <laughs> God damn Arto. Arto and Stanislavski are names that I do not wish to hear for the rest of my lifetime. Do you remember the um, the slice of life task that Jill got us to do? That was like that was the simplest thing to do in the world, and yet everybody was like, "I don't get it." So the the purpose of this task was to basically try and recreate a a moment from your from your everyday existence on this earth on stage and perform it as naturally as possible so that you weren't actually performing you were just doing the action on stage and that's all that's all it was that's all it was it was called slice of life and you were literally putting a slice of your life on the stage it didn't have to be deep or personal it was just like five minutes out of an average day that you can create on a stage, just put it there and do it. It was as simple as that. And the entire class was like, whoa, 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 what do we do? That can't be it. What's going on? And like, for the most part, I think for mine, all I did was I literally just sat on the middle of the stage and was just reading a book with some music on. Funnily enough, I think I also chose Muse to accompany that piece. <laughs> I just had some music on and was reading a book. Sat there for five minutes, read a book until Jill said, okay, that's enough, thank you. And that was it. And it sounds very dull and very boring, but that's because that's, that's what real life is. And that was the point. It was about doing, be, it was about acting naturally. So kind of acting without really acting. And it, it was just, it was, I think it was quite stressful for a lot of people. I think I did my morning routine. That's Stanislavski for you. Certainly is. I seem to remember, I think his name was Anish. He was in our class and he brought in like all of his dumbbells and he was he was just sat on stage and he was just like, <sighs> like just with his weights kind of like trying to do dumbbells or something like that. Which is fine. Again, you know, a slice of your everyday life. He works out every day, every day, so... It's fine. Collect quills with Yuka's lizard lash. We could do that, but that's not worth substituting. And um, oh, since when items are near, I've got on at the moment. Yeah, that's that's being quite useful actually. I'm getting haptic vibration through the controller for that, and I think that's also what that whistling was. Oh, no fall damage is pretty good though. Hmm. That's pretty decent. However, I will stick with the item notifier. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd forgotten about him. Yeah, well, he wasn't technically part of our class. Or he was he was doing a double degree, wasn't I think, is what it was. So he was on a... He was doing a... I think he was doing an English course and as well as a performance course. So I think it was him and maybe like three or four others that were only about for like half of the lectures 
and half of the sessions. Because for the other half he was on his other course. It was some something like that. Okay, I think we're done with this main area. I now need to find where those logs were so that we can ride the logs. I think they were over this way. teamed up with a few different groups. We did. We had a... Uh, was, it was theatre practice as well. was the second course that we had join us. That was, that was for most of the second year, I think, actually, wasn't it? That was performance practice, experimental... It was like experimental practice. It was the kind of theatre management stuff that we did with Jonathan. You remember Jonathan Banatvar... Was it uh, Jonathan Balaclava? Whatever his name was. Yes, second year was Antigone. It was. I remember Antigone. I had a lot of fun with Antigone. The the one we did. Because I had John as our course, as our performance coach. Because that was, it was about putting on a performance in the style of the, the lecturer. So uh, the lecturer I had, John, he was a, he and still is, I think. A member of a theatre company. I think the owner of a theatre company. And so we put on a performance that was in the style of show that he would put on with his theatre company. I seem to remember having a lot of fun with that. But yeah, I, I was about to say, I remember that you did not, nay. <laughs> And then we had, because there was the, this was the thing. There was the difference. There was us and the theatre practice group, and the theatre practice group. Um, I'm not sure I remember Rebecca that clearly. I I definitely remember her being referred to as a dragon. I definitely remember that, but I don't think I remember her appearance that well. Um. But yeah, it was kind of, we had the drama and performance students, us, that when we were doing the, we were doing the theatre technology stuff, learning about lights and sound, we were like, yeah, this is great. And you had the theatre practice people who were like, we can't be doing with this. And then you had a the lesson with John Balaclava, where... It was all about learning how theatres operate, i.e. budgeting performances, sourcing costumes, props, paying people, like, all the business of running a theatre. And all the drama and performance students were like, this sucks. Whereas the theatre practice students were like, this is incredible. <laughs> Scrawny, small, mouse-like, bought in gluten-free shortbread. The heresy. Can you believe gluten-free shortbread? We got the proper stuff downstairs in the cupboard. The proper shortbread. Remember enjoying being the DSM for the show? Well, the, 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 the DSM, you get to be in charge. So it's no wonder that bought enjoyment. You get to do all the bossing. Okay, what's this trolley called? We've had Ollie and Wally. And now we have... Jolly! Of course we do. So, I've got another love heart here. We had the first love heart, which said, love you. And now I've got the second one, which is the very heartfelt message for you. You still can't see it all that well, but... Thank you. Love a love heart. Safe to say, so many of us complained to Jill she did not return. I don't think she did, and that's why I can't remember her. <laughs> Ooh. Love hearts taste so good. I put fast speech on. 
and it's still going as slow as ever. Can you? Let, yeah, just let me do. The, let me do the job. Just let me do it. <laughs> That's all I want. How does one get over there? I don't think I can jump from here. Might be able to make it. Might be able to make it. Paul! Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh, we did make it. Nice. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How's your day been? Good, thanks. What about you? I am very well, thank you. Enjoying a little bit of ukulele this evening. I'm trying not to lose my marbles because the game isn't as well designed as I would like it to be. <laughs> it's been a long day. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. At least, at least you uh, hopefully get a chance to relax now though, right? It's all over now. Or has it only just begun? Oh, well that's not going to help us. Quick! Grapple! Grapple out of the swamp water! Sometimes I ask myself... The... I mean, this is actually quite appropriate, given how we are a little green lizard. Let's get the angry expression on. No, not that one. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> the zoom in there was great as well. <laughs> it's alright oh, until Monday. Oh, is it uh, work related? Thank goodness it's Friday. That doesn't have a meaning for me anymore, Friday. Oh, uni. Oh, I see. Quick grapple out of the swamp water. <laughs> a metaphor for life. <laughs> Some days you're on the grappling hook, some days you're in the swamp. Okay, well, I'm not sure how we made it the first time, but apparently we're now no longer able to do that. You know what, just end me. End my suffering and eternal torment. It's been horrible. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully it gets better soon. Hopefully it's not going to stay miserable and horrible for long. Days don't mean anything to me either. I, I, I have no idea. I know what the days of the week are. But I'm beginning to forget what order they come in. <laughs> hey, there's a... There's a grapple up there, though. Can I deal with that, perhaps? Ow! Oh, there's loads of grapples around here that I've just completely missed. That one's the one I'm interested in, though. And I can't use my grapple. I can't use it while in the air. Can I... I wonder if I can target like this. Oh, you can do it like that! Is there a benefit for me to being up here? Not really. I feel like I've just broken the game again. It goes Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday... Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> That's good to know. Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> I remember a time when there used to be one called... Was it... Thursday? Why day? I can't remember. Thursday? I, I, it all kind of... It's a mystery. It's been 84 years since I had a functional calendar. <laughs> the Gregorian calendar? More like the Gregorian out of the window calendar. Am I right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anytime. I'm an educator, don't you know? Days are meaningless. All, we, all I know is that it is just... The only consistent part of the days of the week that I can work out is that it is day. 
It goes Monday, two for one pizzas, Wednesday, Friday, definitely Friday, Saturday, roast dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sean's back. Sorry, I did see. I did see you come back. I, I, I didn't acknowledge it. I'm sorry. I just see the really sad Mr. Mime face. Sorry, Sean. Welcome back. Never looked at it like that before, but you are 100% correct. <laughs> That's a great way to look at the days of the week. It makes me feel better about the days of the week. I don't know where we are, or where we are in relation to where we were. It's fine, I only crave attention. He doesn't get much at home. <laughs> Is that the real reason why you bought yourself a, bought yourself a dog? It's just to make Sean jealous. <laughs> Exposing time itself, we got a clip. Polite Air Guitar Ninja Grumpy. I absolutely love the the clip the clip links like the the high, the the URL names are always so brilliant oh sorry I got it wrong onerous onerous polite air guitar ninja grumpy it's like his name is onerous polite air guitar ninja and he's a caveman describing his emotion. Oh no, it's polite Egerton Ninja Grumpy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is looking a little bit more familiar. More of that epic music for you. It all looks the same. It does look the same. That is kind of like... Again, we've kind of been discussing the the faults of this game uh, quite, quite a lot this stream. And that is another one that we haven't really touched upon yet, is that... In within each level, it doesn't. There's not a great deal of variety, which I guess is the is I guess is true for like pretty much any level in these massive collectathon games. But at the same time, there's if everything does just kind of look the same. It all blends into each other. Which isn't very helpful when you're trying to navigate around. Oh, that didn't work. There's got to be a way up there that I'm not seeing. Okay, the grappling hooks are too far away. What was your story again? You need to start with the one next to me here. I have a feeling I now know why the rest of this section has been so difficult. It's because the text goes on for so long that I was skipping through it and missed out on the instruction. Oops. And sure enough, there you go. Some rafts appear in the swamp water. And now we can actually carry on with what we were supposed to be doing, rather than cheating the game in the way that I had been. <laughs> I feel like you need some sort of map. I, I concur. I concur. Uh, a map would be quite useful. And, you, and he still goes up to the, the wrong area to do it. It's literally just given me the way forward and I still went the wrong way. 
There we go. Okay, finally, we can start making some progress. In theory. Apparently the sequel is better, it's more of a side-scroller. I I would definitely play the sequel as well. I think I've got the, got the sequel as well. No, 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 no! Okay, well, we're going to need to start this one again. Um, so yeah, I'd like to play the sequel as well for ukulele, but we're going to need to work up to it first. It is the text's fault. It is the text's fault. A map would be extreme useful. Extremely. I like extreme useful. Oh, there's that infamous losing jingle we know and love. Mostly because we hear it all too frequently. Do you know what? I'll give the game its due right here. Can like launching myself with the grapple here feels very good. It feels very fun. Very fluid, very good fun. Let me up, let me up, I'm out of time, I'm out of time! Oh so close! You tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't even matter. Let's go quicker this time. He didn't grab it! I did the correct button inputs, he... Grab the... Can you not jump grab? You can jump grab, so why was he not grabbing when I jumped? Aggressive, almost. <laughs> Russian accent bits. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do accents on demand for bits. No. Oops. I will not. I will not solicit bits. I will not solibit. Solibit? That's a great pseudonym. I take back everything I said about the grappling hook being fun to control. That's an interesting noise. It's my stress one of my stressed out noises. Here we go. Nailing it this time. Famous last words though, right? Right. Nailed it. And that has drained the swamp. And Jolly the Trolley is very thankful. Here's the paper from the pipe. Yep, just give it to me. Give it to me straight. There we go, finally. Whew. Oh, don't shoot me now, though. I am, like, one hit away from death, and I wish to not succumb immediately. Alright, we're done on that one, at last. Any butterflies to replenish my health? Of course not. Okay, well, now the swamp has been cleaned out, we can at least go dive in and see what our see what the uh, see what just see what's up see what's up I hear whistling I hear stuff nearby I might just see if I can convince any any butterflies to appear out of these mushrooms oh no I don't know but we did a thing and th that's great Unlocked a, unlocked a crate I didn't know I was about to unlock. <laughs> Wonderful. Now there's even more to look at. Even more space to get lost in. Alright. We got the nucleus. Which we can give to Farnsworth when we find them. I think I saw the rocket in the background when we were doing that bit on the grapple right there. So it shouldn't take too long. Oh, okay, we can go in the pipe. Murky passage. I don't want to be exploring a murky passage right now. Thank you very much. Getting jabbed by thorns. I wish I could help. Maybe I can.
maybe I can't. <laughs> oh, that was a fast ejection. Okay. That was deeply embarrassing. Like, oh, maybe we can help impales self on a thorn bush. Actually, maybe I can't. There's a lot of thorn bushes that seem to be obscuring places I may want to go, though, so there's obviously something we're going to need to do to them. Prune them, maybe. Do you reckon that's what Farnsworth will help us do? That might be what Farnsworth will help us do. Just don't touch it. I will do my best. Okay, let's let's explore this dark passage now. I'm I feel I feel ready. I'm ready. Let me into the dark passage. Oh no, never mind. This is the swampy station. The swampy station, man. You gotta look out for the trees, man. Sing the turrets to sleep. Or do nothing of the sort. How do you destroy these? I'm still not understanding this at all. You have to sonar them and then, like, hit them. But you have to hit them very quickly, otherwise they damage you. I, I, I don't really get it. A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? I don't get it. Oh, there's some glass. We can use our super sonar attack to break through that. All aboard at Swampy Station. The train's leaving, man. The Swampy train is leaving. Swampy away. This one for you Yogscast fans. Enjoy that. Oh, we're not having this. I'm not being taunted by this ghost. Oh, apparently I am being taunted by this ghost. You want to stop, friend? We got it. Easy peasy. You'd go steal in that situation, though. Surely. In what, si in what situation? Sorry? Did I miss something? Oops. <laughs> steel or feathers. Oh! No, no, no. A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers. Which is heavier. It's a... It's a... Become a bit of a meme online. It was from like a sketch... Type thing. And you had the guy... He was... Like, he was posed the... Oh, okay. So I can use it near glass then. Trouser of the Snake lied to me. He was, um... He had his friends with him and they were like... The steel would take up less space, I suppose, yeah. But, um... Yeah, he was, uh... I think his name was Limmy. He was with his friends and they were kind of like... They asked him the riddle. So, what's heavier? A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? And he goes... Kilogram of feathers? And they're like... No, it's the same. He's like... It's not. Steel is heavier than feathers. I'm like, yeah, but they're both a kilogram. And he's like, I don't get it. A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? The steel is heavier. Like, no, they weigh the same. I don't get it. <laughs> it's just my default confusion response now. I don't get it. <clears throat> Alright, new content! The feathers, because you have to carry with the weight of what you did to the birds. Oh, we got some metaphysical metaphysical weight as well here. Here we go, Rextro, my friend, my ally, my greatest compadre. What are we going to do? Nick likes torturing fowl though. I do. I, I kicked several ducks yesterday on Spyro. Alright, I've got another love heart for you guys. 
for keeps. Peter has entered chat. <laughs> Oh my god, come on! Do you know what the real sad thing is though, right? They've included all of these meta fourth wall breaking jokes. But I'm skipping through all of them because I'm fed up with them. If they hadn't included so many, I'd be seeing them and they would be hitting the mark. But now I don't know what any of them are because I don't want to just sit here with them. So I skip through them all. Alright. Two minutes, defeat corplets, grab power-ups, get the high score. The swamp is under attack by bad guys. Only radical drones can defend the area by beating corplets. Move with left, A boost, and an aerial attack. Peter, have a TikTok account. Eek. So, have I got to... I've got to... Slam down on the critters, it seems. Okay. Gradually sussing it out. Okay, I'm, I'm on board with this. I'm understanding. Oh, there we go. We can just charge into them with invincibility. Watch out for the fire, though. Oh, the music's great. I'm enjoying the music. That was satisfying. They're all out. We've got, just got to clown car all of these monsters out of existence. So long, dear Bowser. It took every fibre of my being not to say what everyone thinks Bowser says in that bit. <laughs> so long, dear Bowser. Beautiful. How did we do, buddy? One of the best. Nice. Beautiful. Sean says that a lot. So long, dear Bowser. That's just going to be my default sign-off forever now. 4,000? Well, we did that already. We did 4,000 easily. Got to do this one for another prize. Start with the speed boost. Go in. There two are out. And the same again. There they go. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Am I supposed to be impressed? I thought mud crabs were more fierce than you. Yeah! Why won't you die? Any Oblivion fans in? <laughs> Oh, missed it. That's fine. Okay, we're halfway there and we still have half our time left also. So, I ain't scared. Oh, I just plummeted into the water. Okay, we've lost a, we've lost a life. We've lost two lives. 
Um, I'm still not scared, though. We can manage this. Lucky bits, thank you. You can do it! I believe. What did we need? 4,000 points, I think. I think it's still doable. Oh, easy. 4,000. Okay, we've hit the magic mark. And thankfully, with invincibility, I can destroy these. Because I had run out of power to launch an attack with. But here they go. What's that? Ten seconds left. Five thousand. Easy. Good job. Rextro, you owe me a new prize. Top of the ranks. Crazy. This one's crazy. Is that a love heart? Like... I don't feel like that is. Yet more jokes about the memory. Come on! <laughs> no, I don't want to play again. I just want to carry on. Oh, we've got a new... No, I don't want to play again! I just wanted to jump off of the arcade! Oh, my gosh. Spongebob's has a new tonic for us, though. So, we can go and see what she's all about. But I don't think I'll go do that just yet. This is looking like an area for expansion. Because we've been able to climb up it for no benefit. I do, however, see the rocket. They'll print anything on a love heart nowadays. <laughs> what have you got for us this time? Good news, everyone! I wasn't expecting you, but it's a shame we have to cross paths in such a damp and smelly place. <laughs> I feel like I don't feel like I've got the Farnsworth accent, but I do feel like I've at least got the inflection. That reminds me, I have a very special transformation prepared. That was pretty good. To my ears, bearing in mind they're blocked up by that, that was pretty good. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> There's no way she can smell anything with that glass bowl on her head. Great! Step onto the transformation plate and press A to start the DNA ray. We're getting there. I reckon by the time we finish ukulele, my Farnsworth will be impeccable. Are you ready to transform? Yes! <laughs> what are we? Magnificent! That's my kind of transformation. To control the shoal, use L, A and left trigger to swim, and X to attack, huh? Oh, we're piranhas! Okay. Okay, well, we can't destroy the reeds as the piranhas. That's fine, though. We don't need to. And now I've got that tunnel over there that I need to go into. Can we go into the bubble field? You can't. Okay. The little fins go in unison. They are. They're really good. Look. <laughs> I love how Yuka has a great big underbite. Or like overbite. And Laylee has a big underbite. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. Brambles ain't nothing to piranhas, apparently. Oh, the dusky duct! Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Okay, well, you follow the left-hand wall. Everybody knows this. Okay, bubble column has ruined that for us. Fine. 
Uh, this camera angle is beginning to confuse me. The camera is a bit difficult to work out what it's up to. And we can't go that way either. Well, I don't know what you're hoping from me at this point, then. If I can't swim down either corridor because of the bubbles... What else do you want from me? Nothing, I guess. I guess we can't do anything here. We shall leave this place. I don't think there is anything else I can do as the piranhas right now. So we should probably go back and change ourselves back into whatever we need to change into. Where's the rocket? I can't see because I can't get the camera above the surface of the water, so I just have to try and remember. I think this is it over here. Take me back. That's great. No, don't transform. Okay. Hmm. So here's what we're going to have to do, because it's approaching 10pm now, which is, as everybody knows, time to shut up shop. Last orders were 20 minutes ago. Everyone needs to be out of the building by 10. So, we're going to head back to the hub world. And when we start the next ukulele stream, we will... We'll all turn into pumpkins, otherwise... Oh, no! <laughs> um, I love how the last stream finished at 10 too. Well, there was mitigating circumstances. Anyway. That's why. I don't want to be... I don't want to run outrageously late two days in a row. Probably three days in a row. One more block probably went on and past 10 as well, so... Um, anyways... We will head back to the overworld, save our progress, and then for the next stream we will expand this world and take it on in an even grander scale. I'm kidding. I know. I know. Oh. There we are. I think that this may be the last stream for January as well, by the way. Only two days left of the month. So I think this might be our last January stream. And then we will be in to February, because that's what comes next. And we'll be on to the February streams. Like I say, we've got plans for Valentine's Day. And it's going to be, hopefully, quite interesting. We'll have to see. <laughs> I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that it'll be interesting. It might not do a full stream, what I've got planned, but we shall see. Um, I, ha I did actually pick up a game today, because it was going for free on Steam. It's called, like, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, or something like that. And you can basically simulate battles between all sorts of weirdo creations and soldiers and stuff like that. You want to see who'd win out of 10 Mongols versus 16 space mechs? You can do that. That might be quite cool for just like a weird sort of stream side project type thing for us to do one day. But that, that'll come in the future. Ladles and jelly spoons, thank you very much for joining me this evening for yet another stream as always for all of the bits and all of the chat and support and everything else very much enjoyed i hope you have as well uh have a truly oh there's a few more there as well gotta fill that cup <laughs> uh ho hopefully everyone else did enjoy it as well um 
as a, yeah, like I say, this is the last one for January, so we will be back in February. Oh, a few more as well. <laughs> That's done it. It's full. No more room. Benito. Um, so yeah, hopefully, well, no, we will be back in February for even more shenanigans and streams and nonsense. <laughs> Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to add. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I will leave you all to enjoy whatever it is you're going to be doing with the rest of your day, afternoon, or evening. Whatever it is, have a good one. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care. Good night. Good day. Goodbye. The unicorn fell. Oh no. <laughs> the cup's full. The cup's full. That's it. Sleeping. I'll be sleeping. I will hopefully be doing the same. Take care, everyone. Good night. Goodbye. See you all soon. Oh, one more love heart. Let's have one more love heart. Love. There you go. Love. <laughs>